sanded off the dark color and there's a couple of drawers that have, looks like they've been prepared, uh, the veneer has been fixed. So I'm gonna have to figure out a solution uh, because I don't wanna paint the drawer fronts. or a paint stain. Um, so in order to do that, I'm gonna need some paint and water. Um, so I'll need a cup, uh, a wet rag, a dry rag, and a paintbrush. So it's gonna turn from this color to this color once we're done. So I've got a little bit of the paint, the same paint that I'm gonna use to color the rest of the dresser. But this, for the drawer fronts, I want it to be kind of see-through. So I put just a little bit of paint in here. You can see it's like up to there. Um, so next I'm gonna put some water. So I put quite a bit of water and then I'm just gonna stir to mix that paint and water together. I want this to be pretty watered down because I want it to be I want to be able to apply as many thin coats and I guess I would err on the side of having having to add more thin coats um, than, you know, add a couple thin coats versus putting it on too thick and having to start over. Okay, so this is going to be the first coat. So I'm just going to make sure I get my, dip the brush in there just getting all the drips off and this is gonna look pretty saturated um, but I really just want to get the paint wash onto the front and cover the entire surface like so first coat I want to take my wet rag and this is I mean it's not sopping wet but it's not damp either it's just a, a wet, wet rag that's had all most of the water wrung out and I'm gonna just go in circles and the point of going in circles here is to kind of get the paint into the grain of the wood I'm not trying to Put a final coat on right now so if it you know it's gonna look really streaky this first time around and the purpose of the rag being wet is it's gonna add more moisture to the top to the surface which I want it to do because I again I want this first coat to be really thin. Um, I almost consider this my, my base coat, I guess. And just for the sake of the fact that this is going to be like an undercoat, I don't want to see any of those streaks from wiping. So I just take a couple extra seconds here and make sure that I get you know, most of those white marks. And then, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry completely. Um, now, obviously it doesn't look like this yet. So 
so we will have to put on a second and possibly a third coat but this first coat I'm gonna let um, ah, I'm gonna let dry so I did want to mention really quick the paint that I'm using for this dresser is the Jolie paint eucalyptus, eucalyptus matte finish I'm not affiliated with Jolie paint um, so and this is actually the first time I'm using this particular paint um, but one of the reasons why I picked this particular color is because I knew I wanted to wash the front dressers and because they started off with a really dark stain and it has like these really orangish undertones um, I wanted to be able to uh, offset or negate those orange st orange tones um, and how you figure out how to do that it's it's it can be really simple if you look at a color wheel the opposite color on an on the color wheel is green from orange so you want to find a paint that's got green undertones if your undertone is currently orange and what that will do um, is offset that orange color and it'll kind of it'll offset it um, so I picked this eucalyptus color because it has these really light green undertones almost like a really light sage color uh, that way I knew that I would be able to tone down um, the orange underneath that um, I wanted to get rid of. So that is why I came up with this eucalyptus paint. And so far um, it's doing a really good job. So the original color was really dark, but you can see this is still untreated. It's been sanded and it's untreated. It's really, really orange. Here's the one that we just did. We put a really thin watered down coat on. It's almost dry, almost ready for the next coat. And then here is the finished. Um, it's had two coats of the paint wash on it. Um, so you can tell it's it's a much grayer tone. It's very muted. It has none of the orange undertones uh, that the original uh, wood color had. Okay, so that first coat is dry. So we're ready to do our second coat. And this will be our final coat of paint um, with color in it. So again, I'm starting out with that watered down, um, watered down eucalyptus Jolie paint. The edges really quick. Apply it across the entire surface. If you're wondering, this isn't any kind of special brush. It's just a synthetic fiber brush. I think, yep, I got it at Ace. Um, nothing special about it. I like to add enough that I'm not seeing um, any bubbling occurring in the grain. When it's on too thin, you'll see some bubbling. All right. So this time around, we're gonna use a dry rag. So before we used a wet rag because I wanted the surface to stay kind of wet so that it wouldn't get streaky. Um, this time we're gonna use a clean dry rag. I like to start at the edges mostly because uh, if you haven't noticed, I don't use a drip cloth, so uh, I don't want to get too many drips. My floor is getting ripped out soon anyway, so I don't care too much about it, but just for the sake of cleanliness, I don't want to drip too much. And I'm wiping pretty gently just to get that you know, the, the main layer off. And it's, it's okay to go against the grain, um, but just make sure you smooth those out. So you can see, I just made a pattern. Make sure you smooth that out. Um, I think the, the hardest thing with doing these paint washes is not leaving streaks. Um, I think that can really make the finish look really unprofessional. Um, so you really want to make sure that you work hard at blending 
those streaks out so that your finished product doesn't look like it's been like it's been wiped a bunch of times so I try to work really hard to get those streaks out so the wood grain underneath and that's the whole point of doing this stain wash that wood grain underneath really shines through that should be the thing that your customer or if it's your own piece that you yourself sees not not the wipes in the paint and again if you think that you put it on you know if you get to the end and it dries and you think oh that just it's not thick enough or it looks you know too much of the wood is still shining through or whatever if you're not happy with it you can always add more layers of paint but taking it off and starting over again is a bigger bigger commitment so I like to err on the side of taking off too much and I can always add more back on strokes to be in my final coat so really lightly I'm going to take some 220 and just um, sand really lightly and then until I can't feel those like the ridges of that those paint strokes anymore <laughs> 